Hey guys, welcome back to the bench tonight, hanging out, Jesse on the camera, my ugly face sitting back here as always, and tonight our featured guest would be Mr. Kingsling, uh, Dennis Anderson's Mega Mud Truck. Uh, this is the new Lossy LMT Kingsling by Horizon Hobby, uh, fantastic truck. Um, as you guys know, we are huge fans of the LMT uh, lineup. We got um, Son of a Digger, we've got the Grave Digger over there, we got a bunch of other SMTs. We have our own King Sling, I'm sure you guys have seen lots of that. But anyway, today's video is about the new lossy RTR King Sling from Horizon Hobbies. Okay guys, so yeah, we got this truck sent over from our friends at Eliminator RC in Winnipeg, Manitoba so we could do an unboxing for you guys to show you this new fancy truck. Um, I know there's lots of videos out there right now, but we just do it better than everybody else, so stay tuned. Let's get her going. Okay, get rid of that cherry guys, we need to stand up to open this guy up, but yeah, let's get this guy out of the box and check him out. Boxes are cool, but trucks are better, so... Fantastic artwork on the box, mind you. Big fan of that. Looks good here. Looks good there. We can cut these out, throw them up on the wall. And heck, it's in our favorite colors. Imagine that. Mm. It's so pretty. Ooh, that's a good looking truck. Very nice. Very nice. I am going to have to pull this out sideways, you guys. They have this package in there really nicely. Yes, it has to go back to the shop so I can't throw the boxes like we always do. So, <laughs> so let's gently get this guy wrapped, packaged up really nice, you guys. You're not gonna you shouldn't get a broken model the way they've got this in there. Very nicely done. We don't want to spend a thousand bucks to have a broken truck, so packaging is really nice. Look at that. Look at that. Okay guys, there you go. We got that thing out of the box looking fantastic. Um, start the body on top, nice new green color, she looks fantastic. The graphics on it are very, very high detail, they look really good. Inside the green, just the kind of blank area, you've got kind of smoke and chains going on. The, the flames on the front kind of look like a bone kind of pattern, what they're going for there. Looks fantastic, the high detail graphics through the side. Um, it is a clear film, and right between the body, you're going to want to heat that up a little bit and push that in or else dirt's going to want to fall in there. So make sure you kind of get that smoothed out before you run it the first time. You don't want to ruin these really nice graphics with a simple mistake like that. As we always do in the videos, you guys, make sure you go through and get all the uh, graphics sealed down nicely. Anyway, let's open up the hood. You'll notice now it is a front flip instead of a rear flip on it. Uh, what Jesse and I have noticed besides the green powder coated chassis on it is the new front half of the frame is new. I think it reaches up a little bit higher than the rear does here. It's kind of hard to line up, but I think it reaches up a little higher and it definitely has a different cut in here. It's only got two holes instead of back here where it's got two holes, it's only got one per side. So probably makes it a little stronger. I know with the LMT and a good front hit, you could bend the front fr frame rail. So they probably did that to increase strength. You'll notice here, it has a low center of gravity battery tray. And hang on a second, I've just noticed it's got these hooks on the side of the battery tray. I'm gonna check the parts bag. Let's go get that box. Where's that box? Down here. I bet you. I bet you, Jesse. We have different types of battery tie downs. Oh, they do, they do, they do. Let's check this out, guys. Okay, nice. So we got the longer strap that'll go through here. This is for your 3S pack, I believe it is. You're gonna wanna put that one anyway. That's the first uh, swap we made on all the ones. And then yeah, you've got a whole bunch of different straps and configurations just for hooking and pulling over. So that is killer. Now we can really throw all different types, like you even got a little one for here. You can throw whatever you got for batteries in there. 
Now this um, is the same as the LMT. I know the LMT says two or three S, but right on the side of the box or King Sling, it gives you the options for two, three, and four S battery combinations with charge that you could buy. So I'm sure you can handle four S at this point. So. So yeah, anyway, um, we're just actually noticing that this low center of gravity battery tray actually has a foam block which you can pull out and you can stuff a shorty pack right down in there nice and low. That's why it has this cutout and that one low strap in there. So it's kind of, it's even lower the way it's mounted and you can drop a shorty pack in the bottom for ultimate, you know, just short little racing and running. Perfect setup, very good design. I love that. You can put a full pack on top, pull it out, drop a small pack underneath. Great design, good job, uh, Horizon Hobby, fantastic. Yeah, that is a cool, cool upgrade on it, guys. Definitely worth it. Well, we're in there, check it out. The radio is nothing to run home about. It's your basic um, Spectrum TX2. If you want, you can pop in a Bluetooth module in here. We have one in ours. And then it unlocks your EPA, endpoint adjustments for your steering, all that other stuff, sub trim, stuff like that. It actually makes it a quite powerful little radio once you link it to your phone. You'll also notice we got new type exhaust on it. We got the zoomy headers that stick up and shoot up nice and loud, look good like that. Pretty cool looking exhaust. I do like the other style of exhaust with the side dumps on the LMT. So this is another option that we can also use for other um, you know, hot rod builds and crap down the road. They're pretty cool. Um, from there, let's go to the shocks. Shocks are 130 millimeters eye to eye. They are the new version two. I believe the shock shaft on the inside on the top now has a nut that locks it down, a nylock nut, instead of the uh, classic E-clip that locked it in. And the bottom, they increased the length of the threads that goes into the plastic um, rod end on the bottom, so it's less prone to snap off, I believe. I've never had the problem, but some guys are having trouble with breaking them off on the stock LMT. Uh, the axes underneath it are the version 2 LMTs that have the extra bolts holding them together to make them stronger. Now they are not invincible. If you land this truck from 10 feet in the air incorrectly, as I like to call it, which is straight on its face or its ass, you're going to do some damage. There's no give and the truck's not light. You're, you're putting a two pound battery in there. It's got a two pound motor. She weighs quite a bit of power, an eight, 10 pound truck. If you're landing it straight on the rear end, you're going to do some damage. Try to land them on the wheels, you'd be fine. Just just get better at driving, you'll be totally fine. Let's check out this. Still a little bit of play side to side, but a little bit better than the LMT. A lot of guys had complaints with the sloppiness and that, that's acceptable. It is a linked truck. You are gonna have play in that. That's something some people need to understand. Uh, let's head on down to the tires. We've got the scale uh, D&D Paddy tires. Uh, fantastic, Dennis Anderson is a big fan of the D&D Paddy tires. I like them at this point. They're 160 millimeters tall or six inches, however you want to look at it. So um, I think we've pretty much covered everything. Uh, another Firma 130 amp ESC, 2800 kV motor in there. Uh, they spank pretty good. Uh, we know the LMT is by far our one of our, probably our favorite RCs to drive. Get that guy up here for a second. We actually haven't uh, run Son of a Digger yet. He's still brand spanking new, sitting on the shelf for a couple years now. Um, one day we'll get out there. But yeah, you can see. Yeah, you can see the old battery tray. That was just a basic battery tray. Sat a little bit higher, didn't tuck down as low, such like that. It had no room in here, kind of a wasted space down here. So they've come out with this uh, drop-in plate. And you can see here the front frame rails, what I was talking about, where they've got the two holes per side and this guy only has the one. And this guy has this nice little cool cut on the back side too, where this guy's just kind of flat. So kind of a little bit changing it up a little bit. I like to see progressional changes in the RCs, the front flip body now versus the back as it makes it now easier to get in work on getting the battery out instead of having all this right here. It's not hard to do, it's easy. Just remember, put your long strap on when you guys get the truck right away. And uh, I think uh, the only thing we haven't talked about is these fancy little guards on the shocks, but let's go outside and throw some dirt and test those out. Okay guys, just about to fire up this truck. I just want to show you guys a um, nice little feature on these Spectrum radios is your throttle limit. You can go 50, 75 or 100. So if you're giving it to Junior and like, yo, take it easy, you just kick it to 50. He's not going to be smart enough to figure that out. Let him go have fun with it. If he figures it out, you can glue it too. So I've seen that done, but um, 
we're gonna rock it on 100 of course but unfortunately we cannot get this thing muddy it has to go back onto the shelf for a demo display so let's have some fun responsible clean adult fun Okay guys, as you can see, uh, a lot of fun. Uh, we do have to hold back on it. It's not one of our trucks, we can't go full send. Uh, just having some fun tooting booting. Uh, Ryan said we got a little bit dirty, but we're gonna clean that up with some nice fancy Cal RC products and get that guy shining up for you back on the shelf. Better than new. A um, Couple little tumbles and tosses, but we're in the grass, so no scratches, no real damage. Um, I am gonna end up buying this truck on release date. This will be my truck when it comes out. So um, yeah, stay tuned. For that we can go full send on it then um just like the lmt guys fantastic platform a lot of fun i was starting to get the feel and the jive for it out there and kind of doing some nice little cool little drop in roost out and stuff like that i am going to add a wheelie bar probably something of our own design to ours probably just a little aluminum piece that follows the contour and comes up the back of the wing there so we can get those nice high wheelies but protect the, the wing uh, we got a little bit of dirt mashed in there and stuff. I'm going to have to take that apart and clean that up tonight now before we get this guy on its way back to our friends, Eliminator RC in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Be sure you guys to check them out at their web store, uh, www.eliminatorrc.com forward slash web store, I believe it is. Check them out. They actually just did a new update on the store. And uh, pre-order one of these from them. Tell them Pro Noob sent you, and they'll give you a big hug at the counter or something. So see you guys on the next one.